How can I ever do the points in a couple of turns? You know? Oh! Yo guys, what's up? Temerian Specimen here with a very Temerian friendly deck. I think now lockdown's gone, Commandos have a real opportunity to become a competitive meta deck. And I think I've built the best version that you will find. I am going full competitive with this list. So there is no fall test, all right? I can already see the comments, especially what about fall test? Let me just get this out there straight away. This card is absolutely dog awful in this deck. It's terrible. One thing you need to realize with commando decks is you only need like five commandos for then you to drag your commandos and you will fill up your board, your row with revenants. So creating more commandos is completely unnecessary. Okay, you want to have a few, but this Voltest card is just so expensive. It's going to get heat waved and it's just awkward. It's not good. It's terrible in my opinion. Maybe you could try a dumb banner deck with it. I still don't think it's going to be that good, but certainly not commandos. Okay, trust me. So this package of cards I've got here, though, is just really nice. We've got a leader charge in round one for a commando. Uh, hopefully we use Roach Merciless, where we're going to get the death blow uh, on it. We can use one leader charge in round one. We can use a second leader charge in round three for our commandos. And our final leader charge goes on Selkirk, who's really good with this leader ability. No need for these terrible zeal-giving cards that are just five points. They're awful because lockdown got deleted. So that's great. And uh, Sabrina is a really great card in this deck. I've been having so much success with her. And she's a bit of an OG on the channel. If any of you guys have been following, almost like three and a half years ago, I was playing Sabrina in every single one of my decks. So it's great to have Sabrina in. She's just a nice row punish. Synergizes with your Draug. Of course, you play Sabrina. Uh, you kill her with a Revenant. And she's like a Lacerate while also spawning more Revenants. Uh, yeah. Big focus of the bronze cards is going to be proactivity. This Sergeant recently getting buffed means it's a very viable card. A couple of Royal Guards. Very, very similar cards. Proactive. They can protect blue stripes potentially as well. Ballistas. Great card. Uh, it's got the damage on deploy, which is great for hopefully setting up our Roach Merciless Death Blow. So definitely a couple of Ballistas are going to be needed. We're also going to need a, another Warfare card for John the Talus, but we'll come on to that shortly. Let's look at the high-end cards we're going to be looking at in this deck. Uh, of course, like down at the lower end, we've got Maulers, which I think are terrible, honestly. They trade so badly with the removal. Similarly, you've got like Cutthroat. Again, don't really fill me with joy. We've got Quedwini Knight, which is okay. Smoke them out. Kind of like meh cards, right? And at the top end, we've got more kind of meh cards. You've got a Falabor. Falabor, not too long ago, was in every Northern Realms deck. And he does fit this deck with Ballistas and Sabrinas and, and Revenants. I just don't think he's that good. There's better cards. So, what if we play the man, the myth, the legend, Maddock? Now, hear me out. I actually had a deck with Maddock and Foltest Commandos last season that never saw the light of day. It never got uploaded. It never got played because it was so bad against Lockdown. Lockdown's gone now, so there's a chance. D-bombs are the perfect sort of card you want in this deck. Cheap removal can set up death blows and Maddock can do just the same too. Maddock also has fantastic synergy with Sabrina because your Maddock's going to spawn on one row. People are going to stack the other row straight into your big fat Sabrina. So Maddock just makes a lot of sense in this deck, especially because like a little bit of cheap removal is great. Now, unfortunately, in uh, Northern Realms, we don't have another four provision bomb, like making a bomb in Squirtel. So we are forced to probably play a couple of moon dusts. Okay, so we've got two D-bombs, one Moon Dust. We're going to want to play one more bomb. Four bombs seems like the right amount. Five bombs also could be okay, but I want to play all these other cards. But we need a Warfare card for John as well. So we've got two cards. One needs to be a bomb, one needs to be a Warfare. We definitely want to play John as well because the deck's so combo orientated. We really need access to this Assault and this uh, this Aneeromancy. Like, we don't want to be forced to Aneera for Assault. So John is absolutely needed in this deck. Smoke them out. Well, there's no bombs at seven. So we could go reinforcements and another bomb at five provisions. And for me, rather than going for a, a northern wind, I think two moon dusts are good. I would imagine cloggers starts coming back into the meta. So dealing with hefty helge, I think it's going to be great. Siri Nova too. I think the moon dust are just going to prove their worth. Also, like if witches come back, moon dusts are good there and they're good for defenders as well. Uh, so our Sabrina can't be bricked. So I think moon dusts make sense. And the reinforcements is just similar to what this Foltest card does, right? It gives us an extra commando of carryover, which, while not super relevant for your Draug, it's still an eight tempo play. It's a high-end tactics card rather than just like 
a tactics card that's just there that's just there for the sake of it honestly i would probably prefer this to be a, a boiling ore maybe and then we could maybe improve one of these cards but there's nothing i really want to change like i would improve this moon dust to a six provision bomb but there's none we want right and the reinforcements is good and i already know if i wasn't playing reinforcements you guys would be like especially where's the reinforcements it's really good in this deck and it is pretty good uh it's not super necessary but, but the way the provisions kind of work with this last two cards makes sense so this is the deck i think it's a banger i think nomadic you'll really enjoy i think uh, the draug is great and i think the deck's going to win a lot of games you also might want to consider playing a uh, crystal skull if you're playing against a lot of decks with locks for me i think the tactical advantage is the way to go it's a point more so okay while the locks could you know be pretty good they're still going to lock something anyway right may as well just get this extra point in my opinion i think the tactical advantage is worth it in this meta unless of course you're playing griffin witches which we are not so there's the deck hope you guys enjoy the gameplay bear in mind when you're watching the games it was a build a deck building process we tried lots of different versions of this deck this is the final version i settled on though hope you guys enjoy the video what other decks do you want to see me do let me know northern realms forever deuces yay blaze of glory yes my favorite kind of deck to play against so interesting so new uh he says with no new cards in the deck Shh. bye bye We just played some flawless Gwent, mate, in this last game. That's the only reason we want. Don't let anybody trick you, chat. I know it's true. You know it's true. Stunning Blow is cheating. Yeah, Sabrina is actually smurfing super hard. <laughs> like, she's just won us the last game. Well, actually, I think our opponent won us the last game, but still. Right, I need to think about my placements, man. I'm just playing cards in random spots. It's not great. That's what matters. Burn the home, fell the trees, and the shiny plunder. Guys, we need a knight in this deck, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, especially why not play Crystal Skull? It's pointless, mate. Go on, play. A day to play. This is such a free pass. You can't do the points. How is this guy going to do the points, chat? Chat, talk to me for a sec. How? How? Pass? I mean, is it a pass, though, chat? Like, I can just bleed for free with this knight that I don't have from my assault, right? Like, I have a flipping assault and loads of fours in hand. Why would I pass, right? True. I could play another scout, but then I can't bleed with assault. Bleeding with assault is pretty good. But I don't have a knight, so it's not even that good. Is it an easy scout, though? Like, is it actually? Don't I just play, like, a bad card first? Yes, I do. This is this just wins the round, right? I don't want to use my assault. I can just tempt them into thinking they've got a chance. There's no way I, I actually um play flipping assault here. It's just super trolling chat. Yes, chat, you're wrong. Listen to me. If I play assault, he passes. Who flipping cares? Right? If I play and then I've got a hundred fours in my hand. If I Oh, look, I play a four and he passes. Now I can bleed of assault with this knight that I don't have. That's, this knight needs to go in the deck. Massively. But it's fine. We've got a cutthroat. Who needs a knight when you've got a flipping cutthroat, mate? You get me? But aren't you team which is supposed to bribe me? But aren't you team which is supposed to bribe me? I don't even want this card. Not really. Not really. Oh. Here's my knight. Yes! Don't move. 
What? It's less points. Like, this is where we just want to slam the knight in it. Three more points of tempo. Trade a knight for something good. Because we're going to be in this situation low, so we just don't need to use assault round one in it. And now you're like, oh, but Spencer, you have to carry over the scout. No, guys, because I'm already going to fill out my drow grow. This is the point, right? Like, you do not need that many commandos. Yeah, I did actually live with a Brummy for a while. What if I just slam the Falibors? How bad is that? How bad is just slamming the Falibors here? Right, you didn't meet your spouse to bribe me. Let me just pass through. That's what I'm saying, I just want this to be a flipping knight. I don't want to have to like play another card here. I don't want to play a flipping lead. Why if we just draug? Oh my god, it's like a Pella. Like, I just want to pass here. But, hello? Got it. I don't give a bloody fuck what you think, Twitch chat. I just played my Fallible for like six points. What a great card, Cap. Why did I do this? This is so bad. Oh my god. Oh my good. This is just trolling, right? I mean, a long round is fine. We just win. But maybe we don't now play Fallible. Fallible sucks, man. God. Like, if I don't get a pass here, it's super over for me, right? H how much have I trolled? I have seven points. I get away with it somehow. Some bloody hell they gave me this. What a player. Yeah, Shield Matic is nice. I really think um, the location is tickety-boo at the moment, though, man. Like, the mentor. Uh, the, the Whatever it's called. The thing with Anna is she's just... Like, you really don't want to use the other charges in round one, right? But she is good. She is good. But yeah, Shield Matic is definitely decent. It's definitely not Amaze Balls either, though. But it's nice. I thought about the deck a lot, and if there's anything I could do... I really like Smoke Amounts in the deck, actually. I actually really flipping like smoke amounts. Uh, anyway, mulligan time. Uh, oil. Uh, assault, I mean. Uh, 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 pop! Wow, so glad I got this flipping mauler in my hand. What a card cap. Hello, gold cards. Get him, we actually found two golds. Oh my god. Oh my good. Right. We want to get Draug up early. However, just duel this boy. Dominance! I could have gone for Sexy Sexy Margarita as well. We are going to just a nearer for Sexy Sexy Margarita. Maybe use Maddock and Bombs. Yeah, Maddock is... A ah, that's actually a really good point. We could play Maddock. Yes, 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 Asteroid. There was a Maddox version of this deck that I built with Green Knight last season, but it never saw the light of day because it was so bad against lockdown. That's a really good point, Ash. Yes, we should try that. Ash, congratulations. You did something good. First time for everything, mate. I'm only joking. Sorry. Please don't take it personally. Uh, Leo, are you trying to get banned? Because you're going a good, you're going the right way about it, mate. All right, here we go. Bang! All right, blue stripes. Back row. Here we go. Click! And then suddenly. Whoa! Oh, but obviously you guys are asked, but Spess, you could have played your flipping assault. No, chat. Look. Look, look, look. I don't need another commando. Like, this is enough. We're going to fill this whole row up. If I really wanted to, maybe I could have even... You could make an argument I could have pivoted the back row. So I'm a little bit low on these boys, but not really, right? It should be fine. I mean, to be fair, I'm a little bit low on them, so I'm just going to Margarita now on the back row. Fine. I'm a little bit worried I don't have enough. But this is fine, right? Whatever. I wanted to lock this anyway, so it's calm. But yeah, Maddox a really good point, actually. Because <clears throat> it sets up death blows really easy, right? And you don't have to play flipping maulers. Like, this card is so trash! 
God, and Falibor, guys. Do you know what? Falibor, also kind of trash. Like, he's, he's okay. Yeah, it's a Maddox deck, right? But Vet has the worst voice lines? What do you mean? You don't think... GG! It's good. I disagree. I think it's a great voice line. Iconic. Ooh. Ice is cheating, mate. What do you mean? Valabom, Valabom. Exactly, Gaga. That's such a good point. That's so true. Valabom is better than Falibor. We should start calling Falibor the uh, dancing star. Really. Kind of that. It's kind of got to that point, right? Valibor would be better known as just the dancing star. Maybe this is a misplay. I could have killed this uh, geezer at the front, right? Might have jumped the gun a wee bit there. If the king demands a head, I'll give him yours. But like this raw god sucks too, right? I just want to play a bomb here. What can we call Falibor? We could call him the... I don't know. I've got nothing funny. Nothing funny to say. Nobody's surprised. I know. Oh. Get absolutely Sabrina. Okay, we lost chat. It's fine though. We can hold our heads high and say that we can improve the deck by playing... The Falabomb. There's no three, so we can't actually get any more commander. Oh, we've already filled up! Look at that chat. Do we win? We lose to Hemdall, spoiler alert. Eh, what? No! Ah. Oh. So sad. That's close though. If we just had Falabombs instead of these these crappy cards, we win, right? True. That's pretty close. We need a knight. You know that we could be immortal, immortal, you're loyal, yeah. I'm just praying that she loyal, she loyal. I don't talk too much, man. I'm a drug man. Oh, almost clicked again by accident. Okay, we could hit Maddock. God, why do I have all the bombs? Why do I have all the bombs? There's a few too many bombs, mate. Not gonna lie. Don't want it. No! Ah! Look, why do I... Do, ah! Why did we turn this deck so bad? I lost all the proactive cards, man. Like, this card is just the first card that should be in this deck. Flip! Bollocks! Okay, guys. We made the deck worse. Congratulations. Thanks for nothing, chat. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. God, you guys suck. Why are you joking? It's my fault. Oh, Everton team's going to be out. Everton. Mesh you've got here. Where's Hamez? He's injured. I think he's been injured all season, to be honest. God, Maddock, what are you doing, man? Yeah, this dancing style is trolling, right? We actually want to play Royal Guards and Sergeants, even over this. I think the first cards that should be in this deck is double Royal Guard, double Sergeant. For sure. I'm going to rejig the deck. I still think Maddox could be good, though. Very corpses? Nay, Imagine if I actually just didn't have Maddox in hand here. We'd be like, yep, sweet. Elves must die. Death to the enemy. I don't talk too much, man. I'm a drug man. Please forgive my dodgy hair. Blood for small blood. I am going to begrudgingly pass because I stuffed my hand up because I made a bad deck. Sorry about that. 
Right, so let's think about it. We're going to play... God. Mm. I need to play something, but I, I want to play a flipping... Might just lose the night, even though I've just been saying I really want to do the night the whole time. I really need um, a flipping double Royal Guard, double Sergeant, just for the proactivity, right? Also, I've gone first like seven times in a row, guys. Like, what's going on there, mate? Hello? And it's always been against flipping SK when I've been commandos, or when I was playing flipping the other one. Vampires, it was always against traps. Guys, smoke them out. I'm not going to brick John. Guys, yo, dear thing. Thank you so much for the Prime White Geezer. Guys, do you remember when I said that I'm not going to brick my John? Watch. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Watch this, right? Wait for it. Not all dragons ready? Gold, well, what are you doing with the Prime 2? Guys, watch this. Simple as that. Thank you. Here a week. You guys want an autograph? Let me know. I know. Mind boggling stuff. Crazy. It's just a shame smoke amount wasn't the card we drew, right? It would have been it would have been more of a more of a moment. So I'm gonna start a clips YouTube channel, guys. Have any of you talked to me about it? Have any of you guys been uh, getting like clip channels on YouTube recommended to you? Because like my YouTube Flipping recommendations. All it is is like clips these days, mate. These days. No, f yeah, exactly, Morton. Well, I mean, this this particular version is not, as I kind of stuffed it up a bit because I, I got obsessed with the Faller bomb, right? You don't recommend what you click? Yeah, exactly. Mm, but a superb but specimen. that's what I'm saying. Is it just me? But like these these clip channels are blowing up. Like, look. Let me just check there's nothing dodgy, because, you know. Okay, look. Clip. Thir like, 30 seconds. It's literally a clip channel. It's got 60k views in four hours. Okay, football. I've got some trying it, obviously, because man, you know, watches and Gwent stuff. Another clip. 12 seconds. 44 seconds. You get me. Anybody else? Just me? What? This guy... What? Pro, pro rank, rank. I hope we can trust you. Pro prank, more like. You get me. What is this guy doing? Hello, 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 hello. Oh my god. No, but seriously, is anybody else getting them? Because I'm going to start a clips channel where I just upload my clips. Makes sense, right? Why not? If you look at Dandelion show as well, like those videos do really well on YouTube and they're basically the same kind of concept, right? And I was thinking of just doing like a clip video each week, but why would I do that when I could just literally uh, have a clip channel? Yes, but yeah, Maddock is the motive, right? For sure. Maddock is the, this, this particular build is not it though. Chief. Breaking use clips, but no others. Right. But if you like, all I'm saying guys, if you saw Specimen Guant, right? Think about it, yeah? You saw Spossimen Guant, you would flip and click that, you know? You get what I'm saying? I know I would. Spossimen Guant clips. I'd click it. I think mean, I could just play the Sabrina. Would Is Sabrina plus Ballista enough? I'd have five points. I would have six, five, 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 eight. I'd have eight points on my side of the board. They're going to have two, four, six. They're going to have nine. Not enough. But I could also just use a leader charge, but I don't want to do that. No, I can do that. Sabrina. Plus ballista leader charge is enough for it. And I have to keep going because I've got to play into Maddox. This is absolutely fine. Like, how are you going to counter Sabrina, mate? You just can't. What, you're going to play into Maddox? All right, do it. See if I give a damn. I don't. Sorry. I've kind of lost my head, guys. I haven't eaten. You're also getting them? Good to know, Prim. Prim, sorry. Thank you. Is Trap ST the only tier zero deck? No, Trap ST is not tier zero. Come off of it. 
Uh, the best decks this season are as follows. Drum roll, please. Crime Syndicate. Uh, Araka Swarm. Uh, Cloggers. Blaze of Glory. Yep, they're the full decks, probably. Traps are good as well. You know what's not good? Anything that starts with Northern and ends, in, ends with Realms. Oh no, this guy's playing around my Maddock. What a genius. Wow, look at that, guys. They played around Maddock and put the Kadoot. What? what? Hello? What are you do? Wait, why did I do that? That was dumb. I mean, I just still want to play around Sabrina. That's fine. Cloggers. Cloggers? Did somebody say clog? I didn't say cloggers. Did you say? Mm, yeah, cloggers. Cloggers will be really good. Truly. Sure. I, had, I had Sad Fury went on a big rampage with it as well. Guys, what if we actually secretly lose? That would be awkward. That would be really awkward. Let's be honest. The main reason we're going to lose is because I used Assault randomly, like round one in it. Like, I randomly played this Assault because I had no proactive options. I built the deck badly. Hunter. Knowledge. I know you're impressed, guys. Don't deny it. Wait, What? Hello? Wait, why did I do that? Oh god, I suck too. I suck too, guys. Shit. People tried the Sasuke buffing gift. No retreat, not one step. Wow. This is a great line of play from our opponent. Really good. How could I ever do the points in a couple of turns? You know? Oh! Actually having to play Draug. Yikes. I can just do it with a leader charge, right? Draug leader charge does it. Yeah, AQ is to be really good. Trap should be an interesting matchup with that because you've played double crushing trap. Pitfall trap, snipes. Maybe you play Maddock as well, which is pretty good in that matchup. Wait, I never played my Roach. What? How did this happen? I remember this This game was kind of chalked right from, from the beginning. Uh... Fall overboard and I'm not jumping in up here. Imagine drawing gold cards, by the way. At least you found like our one proactive card. Well, that's what matters. Yes, we need proactivity. We need double royal guard, double sergeant, and then we can go somewhere with this deck. I think the Maddox's a nice idea. Fallible sucks anyway, right? Who cares? We're not gonna cry over Fallible being being missed, because again, he sucks. Okay, we should be winning. They've got two extra points. There's only a four, though. This is literally only a four-point card. I actually would have had more points with a uh, smoke amount in it. Nature's Gift Devotion, probably. Woo! Somehow. We won. Wow! Don't ask me how, but we did it. Right, to the deck builder we go. Back to the deck builder we go. On Barbon. It does not. It's a warfare card. It's not a bomb, unfortunately. Yeah, it is, but it's kind of not. But okay, I'd rather not play it. But it's fine. Okay, is there any bricks? I mean, there's a lot of gold cards in this hand. Too many, really. Like this Sabrina's got to go. Fish lap. That's the one card I didn't want to find, man. Bollocks. That's what I'm saying about like playing these cards. So we just need these proactive options in it. This is so sad that we drew this card. Wow. The only card I didn't want to find in the whole deck. We literally might have gone to blue stripes and, and Maddock already in it. Yeah, this is super sad, man. 
This is really bad for us. Yo, Devil's Mouth. I've been streaming, man. Just short streams a lot of the time. How you doing, man? I wasn't here last week much, though. I took a break. Did take like a week off. Which is actually really nice. I still did a couple streams, I think, during the week, but not much. And I took, what, like three days off? Feels like it was longer, but it actually wasn't that long. I did like a week off YouTube for some reason. If I had videos ready to go, I just kind of clowned out. I mean, that's pretty expensive. What's considered a long stream? I don't know, maybe like anything over eight hours for me, because I do stream a lot. Never a problem. Four inches of steel could be solved. I mean, this play is just so expensive, man. Like, hello? Like, there's no reason to use the zeal here. How are you going to kill it, mate? You just can't. You just told me. What was this play chat? Hello? Hello? And this guy's still got this many points because they're really good at the game. That's that's sarcasm. Uh -huh. Like, how, how is this fair? Hello? I mean, it thins. It's more points. But it also just gave me a roach right, without using the charge. Yeah, I agree. I think the Northern Realms cards don't really fit any kind of deck. I think that's basically a bit of an issue with Northern Realms in general, really. Like, charges. If you look at their leaders, charges suck. They're complete trash. If you compare them to coins, it's just this, this reinforcements, guys, by the way, not good. It might be okay still. I think reinforcements is probably the card of choice here. It does make sense. It just fits the deck um, because I need a warfare card and I need a bomb. You know, it kind of just makes sense to play this. It's okay in a lot of situations. Like, if they're not to pass here, I will still happily play it. A reinforcement, sorry. There's going to be a lot of times where it feels really bad. Why did they just use the leader charge chat? Does anybody get that? What's that all about? Would quite like to play the bomb. This is a seven point card, thins our deck as well. But the thing is, our, our opponent, you know, this deck's just so boring, really. Like, when you look at it like it is in its current stage, just slam the. Like, how is this fair? Come on. And they've just got all these coins ready to go. I mean, the good thing is they spent, like, their leader, right? We might. Might be sweet here. Uh, can I risk them out at play? I probably can, right? I'd be 17 ahead. Maybe I should have gone for the lower card, but I have to punish still. This is fine though. I can get away with this. I don't think they can overtake us. Even with the nine coins. My collection's pride. Ever witnessed anything evil. Yeah, so like Meave sucks as a leader, the royal inspiration that is. Um wow, really? No Alright. I'm happy with that. Maddox is just so good, man. Like, imagine playing a Roach that gets Philippid, guys. Think about it. Like, and okay, I've got some lackluster bombs in my deck now, sure, but... Moondust are pretty good, honestly. I think Moondust will prove to be super relevant in this matter, actually. Because uh, I think Cloggers will make a big appearance kind of soon. Wow, they're actually pushing us. Really now. You must stop, please. Yeah, Faultus Pride and Charges is like Stockpile's cursed, right? You compare Stockpile to line pockets and stuff, like it's just like yikes. Massive yikes. Um just charges are basically coins, right? Just really bad version of it. And the leader just does nothing for the deck. Like, Stockpile will get absolutely crushed by this sort of a deck. No audiences. He's down today. Guess I could have gone Selkirk here to kill the Spender. That was probably the play, actually. 
I guess I can still play Selkirk, right? I can just boost him. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, Fallible's just a bit power crept. I was playing him just before and he just doesn't feel that good. I should have played... Ah, no, it's fine. I might just Draug. I don't really want to use my Commandos, right? Like, I could always just Assault for something else as well. I'm basically just trying to not use my Commandos here. That feels nice, though. That feels really nice, actually. This is also where Smoke Mount could come, come in handy, though. Like, just to give you, like, another Draug. Bro, bro. You don't want to play your Commandos. But the thing is, I can just assault for anything, right? And I'll, I'll top deck a commando, unless I'm like the world's most unlucky person. So I just need to stay ahead here. Draug stays ahead. Ballista with a leader charge. Does that stay ahead? It does. So I could just do that, right? But let's just play Draug. We can Ballista leader charge next turn if I want. I don't need Draug to win this next round with this okay, in the deck ready to go. That is a big over profit. So killing this shack was huge. Okay, so maths time. We should just be fine, right? We can assault for a ballista. Or a sergeant, maybe. We can always use a leader charge too, right? We're just fine here. We can recycle this revenant. This is a four strength card, which I do three damage to. I should just use a leader charge now, right? I don't even need to. I need to use a leader charge next turn. Just because I wanted to recycle this one. It's just worth it. I'm going to use a leader charge at some point anyway. Makes sense to do it now. I get my two revenants back. I can actually almost do it. One. Um, I'll probably just play a ballista, honestly. I want. I want to have uh, proactive cards. I mean, this, uh, me saying I was going to use a leader charge, the second one was re. This guy didn't play well. Okay. Uh, that's what we wanted. Uh, no. Oh my god. Guys, can we get a command for fault test, please? <laughs> oh, it needs to happen. No, we don't. We need a command for fault test. Any commanders in the chat? Bane, you look like the kind of guy that likes making commands. No? Maybe? <laughs> but new card fun. New card bad. New card very bad in this deck. This deck could actually be good now though because lockdown got deleted, right? That's why I'm playing it. Uh, I don't know, like, exclamation mark fall test. God, am I sick of people telling me to put Faultus in this deck. I'm, guys, I'm I'm trying to be the honest boy that just gives you, like, actually good decks, right? 